In this video I'm going to show you how to torque cylinder head bolts. Um, first thing is when you torque bolts like this they have to be in a specific sequence. You can't just tighten them randomly. And they also have to be at, the, at a specific torque. And sometimes, like in this case, you have to actually turn them in additional degrees um, and actually get a tool that can measure that out. Um, so here, if you look at this, this is from the factory service manual. It shows you the sequence to tighten the head bolt. So you have to tighten it in this sequence. So first thing, I'm just gonna uh, drop all the bolts in there and snug them uh, lightly in sequence. And then after that, I'm going to torque them with my torque wrench in sequence. So I set my torque wrench to, in this case it's 37 foot-pounds, to torque it, uh, to torque each bolt down. <clears throat> now when you do this, try not to have a lot of extensions because you will lose a lot of torque through many extensions. So we're going to go in order, following this right here, and torque um, each one to 37 foot-pounds. Also one thing you want to find out is if your bolts are what's called torque to yield bolts or stretch bolts meaning you cannot reuse them you have to buy new ones so it's very important that you find that out now when you're torquing things you want to have a smooth fluid movement with your torque wrench hold it right on the end so you can hear it it'll click properly so here's one Three is right above it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, so now the final phase of tightening these cylinder head bolts uh, comes into play. You need to rotate, we need to turn uh, each bolt in order by specified degrees. And in this case, you turn it 120 degrees. Now, this isn't something that you should just guess and eyeball. You actually need to get a special tool like this. This is a, uh, a pretty cheap one. They can get really expensive. But the way it works is it has a little half inch drive on the bottom. And on the top it has a little meter. So as you're turning, you can measure um, how much you're turning it. And it has this little clamp that you just clamp onto anything so it holds this thing stationary. Just put your wrench in there. And it has this little, this little screw lets you uh, adjust. If you loosen it, you can adjust where it starts off at and then tighten it and it stays still. 
So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go in sequence again and turn each one 120 degrees. That's all there's to it. Yeah, they always use a flare nut wrench. Even at the back one to loosen. There you go.